Welcome back. And so when we last left off, I had the other uh, outer door frame to mill, and I milled it. So it's basically done there, and you can see it's all finished, looking good. And so the next thing up was the uh, inner door frame, and these ones are going to take a long time because it's a it's sort of like a concave thing here, and because of that, we can't cut it with a the regular flat end mill. We have to cut it with a ball mill, and so you have to have tight step overs. And so this thing is going to be on here for several days. And so this is uh, when it started out here on uh, Monday, and now it's middle of Tuesday and <laughs> still running. So this is going to be going until probably 2 a.m. on Thursday morning or something. But the good news is for most of that, um, it's a really nice smooth finish. It still have, we'll still have to do the undercuts and things on there. You can see there just where the mill's going past there. That area there will have to be undercut like it was before on the foam. Um, but Ultimately, it's coming out fine, and uh, it takes a long time, but it's less work for us to do by hand, so it's still a win in, in the long run. So what do we do while that's going on? Well, the guys have been uh, working on prepping these things ready for um, pulling the molds this week, so we can get the windows going, and there they've been, uh, again, sanded, and uh, there's the other one for the window. So the final sanding uh, was done on that yesterday, being Monday, and then today the guys uh, were basically doing a finishing and then waxing. So they're all waxed now. They're super smooth, um, ready to put, uh, ready to lay the molds up on them um, probably tomorrow if it's sort of warm enough. And in the meantime, I was at the shop yesterday, and there's our engine sitting on the stand, and the turbo just sort of roughed in place. It still has the the uh, plastic wrapping on it uh, was off for ceramic coating. So that's how that looks right now. So now we can better see how it's going to fit inside the engine compartment. So here it is just rendered in 2D, the engine there with the uh, belt drive uh, behind it. So you can see there's actually quite a bit of room. And of course in front of it is where the baggage compartment is going to be. And here it is in the 3D model, uh, but keep in mind that the actual engine and the belt drive image there, those are just 2D, so they're not obviously filling out the width there, so it's a little weird when you rotate it, um, but you can kind of get a feel of how the engine and the belt drive are going to sit inside of the engine mount there. So there might be a couple of changes to the configuration of the belt drive, but this is pretty close to how it's going to look. And in the meantime, you remember this from previous videos, so there's the lower half mold of the fuselage, and this is it in uh, the 3D. So what's going to happen when we uh, actually create this part off of the, um, well, once we have the mold and then we create the final part, the part will look like this. It will have all the flanges and the doors won't be cut out yet and the gear doors won't be cut out yet. So there's a bunch of work to do on it, and obviously that could take a lot of time and may not be very accurate if we try and do it by hand. So the best thing for us to do is to create a jig uh, for this to sit in that we can use and align it under the machine. And that would look like this. So it's going to have a steel frame, um, legs and some alignment pin points and a sort of like a almost like part of the mold for the actual uh, fuselage lower to sit in and be aligned. And that would have that's this is what it would look like with the fuselage sitting in there, the actual part. And then we would run it through um, some paths, tool paths in the machine, and it would cut out the doors and trim off the flanges. And so then we have the actual uh, fl actual fuselage lower kind of ready to go to mate to mate with uh, the other parts. So the next thing that we would do is um, be able to align the uh, the firewall there. So we'd actually have some extensions that will go onto this um, this mount that will help align that and get it nice and plump and likewise with the forward bulkhead and get, get it lined up and standing correctly and in the exact position and again we can use the machine to do trimming and anything we need to do you know based based upon you know using the accuracy of the machine so all that's left to do now is uh, create this thing so that's what uh, I'm going to be working on over the next uh, week or so building the frame for this and getting it all sorted out and uh, you know it will become the basis for putting together each aircraft or at least something similar to this. So that's the update. Thanks.